I'm James, your host. Welcome to Vintage Bricks. Today we'll be talking about set 6086, Black Knight's Castle, a classic. Here we have it, the bill. Let's take it for a little spin. There we go, back to the front again. Set 6086, the Black Knight's Castle. Awesome set from the different sides. We have lots of things to see. The blue shield, the, I think it's called Wyvern shield. It's a dragon that we'd see around in Lego sets from time to time. They, they must have loved that because they had that on their helmets and they had it on their shields. They, it was kind of their, their thing. Also, having black, I think, in the fort, maybe it's why they're called Black Knights, or it could be their torsos are black. I don't know the answer to that. Let me spin it around to this side. Very classic yellow walls. Love the yellow walls against the gray and the black. Set that off. Some of the primary colors are here. That red, of course, is so we gotta love the red. A unique flag on this side. Let's go to the back. What do we see here? Hey, in the middle of the night, if the Knights want to run out and maybe catch a few bad guys, they can, and they can sneak out so nobody sees them. In fact, I think they caught them. Let me spin to this side and let's see if I can't. There we go, spin around, find him for us. Here he is. They found a, it's like, a, it's a wolf guy. Wow, a wolf guy prince. I thought he was a prince because of the red cape. Let's put him in the dungeon. Okay, maybe we'll rent to him for gold. Hey, speaking of gold, they store their gold up here. Don't tell anybody I told you. That's where the gold is. So this set has a lot going for it. Aesthetically, I like the different heights. I like the color scheme. I just, it's in general. Hey, this base plate was only used in one other set in the Castle series, the 6081. I think it's done better in this set. That set was done in 1988. So this one's a few, had a few years to think about doing this. Anyway, I think you'll enjoy this set. So if you have a chance to pick it up for your vintage collection, please do. Remember, white plumes, that's what would get there. They give a lot of value to the set. So think about that. Okay, we're done. Well, now comes the fun part, looking at the minifigures. By far and away in the Black Knight's set, the most coveted one is the white plumed Black Knight. He must be in charge. He even gets his own white flag. The plumes are only found in this set, therefore a little bit hard to find. When you buy the set, try to make sure that this piece is included because he's in charge, he needs to be there. His buddy with the yellow plumes and the yellow uh, wavern um, dragon is a close second. Uh, well, not that close in price, but as far as being cool. You can see by a lot of the extra pieces I have, the knights themselves have this nice suit of armor on here breastplate armor, but when they become full knights in your castle, they get their own gray armor plate that goes on top of this. So they're double armored, which is pretty amazing. Then here are the other two that come in the set back here. They're like knights in training. Now on the other side, we have the worker bee knights. We need those. We need people to man the ramparts. Variety is great. Three different types of helmets three different types of, of uh, legs, but they all have the same chainmail red chest, which makes them, you know, arrows just bounce off them and they lock. Again, these are pretty easy to find, which is why I have so many extras of these too. 
So with this amount of men, I can make a pretty nice battle scene, and maybe we'll do that in a future um, YouTube video. Thank you. Welcome to the rare piece part of our review. Well, what, first of all, what, what do I have going here? We have some Black, Black Knights sets that fill out the theme. So interestingly, they had a little boat. You know, at the time, the biggest castle boat um, that was made at the time. And in their little castle, the Sea Serpent, they had a couple of their buddies, which would look like, you know, Black Falcons. So the Black Falcons, they were buddies, but you know, someplace they, they ran out of favor. Maybe the Black Falcons were trying to sneak in and get the treasure because later on the Black Falcons were, you know, trying to catapult a stronghold of the, of the Black Knight. So they're not always friendly, maybe seasonal. We already know about the wolf guy, wolf pack guy in the dungeon heap so that's so there there's a little conflict with the themes this is the sister this is the black monarch's castle the sister castle the sister castle we'll review that at a future time however it articulates out and so it's a little different build a nice complimentary build but who's who's the black monarch we have i don't know we have a black monarch's ghost down here it was Black Monarch a ghost? Or did he have a ghost that he was a pet ghost? Lots of questions about this theme. We, so it's a, it's a great, for unique pieces, again, number one unique piece is our buddy, the Black Knight with the white plumes. He's unique because he is the only one of his kind in all of these sets. Now, if you get these guys, of course, you'll get the horse with the bards. Make sure, again, the clips are intact. Make sure the clips are intact in everything you get because broken clips are, you, you know, they don't hold up that well. Now, the other thing that's unique, of course, is the flag. It's unique. The base plate, there's only a couple of those, but if you get the set, obviously, you get the base plate too. So the other unique piece, obviously, is the box. And this will be a little glary with these lights. But if you can get your hands on a nice pristine box, that's a great collector's item. But you need a place to store it because these boxes don't like fold down and inside they have like, you know, cellophane. Hey, the great thing about the box, these are not three in one sets where you can have like three directions. In the box, it actually has alternate builds. So you can built now it says on the front here what does it say ages 8 to 12. i'm sure my kids when they were eight could have built some of these alternate builds i don't think i could have those are confusing to build those without directions i've tried i'll try one online or on set here for us at some time so there we have it for the uh rare pieces Now, let's go into the factoids. The factoids are sections where things you may not know, but you know, now you're going to know them. One question came up was, this is such a beautiful set, it's a work of art. If I think of Starry Starry Night, I think I know who, I think I know who painted Starry Starry Night. I think I've seen Starry Starry Night in the Museum of Modern Art. I, it, so Starry Starry Night, but who designed this work of art? I had to do a little research, not that hard with Google, and Niels Peterson from the Lego group with his team built this one. Niels, what a genius. And what, what Niels doing? 30 years later, Niels is still working for Lego. And I'm sure still designing sets and helping. He must be a Lego genius. I bet his collection is a lot better than my collection. So what else did Niels do? Well, when I look around behind me here, he and his team developed some of these sets. I have some other ones, but these are some of the highlights. He had the Eldorado set, a classic, the King's Castle, it's a Lion's Knight set, 
the, the gray set. Um, you know, the this pirate set, and then with the sea barracuda, and a lot more. So they they were there for the golden age. So Niels is like my, my factoid. The other fact that you don't know, I'm sure, is that when this set was originally released, it was called, and drum roll please, Dungeon Masters Castle. Dungeon Masters Castle. And then a year later they changed it to Black Knight's Castle. I think I like Dungeon Masters Castle better. But you know, maybe they ran in some copyright issues with Dungeons and Dragons at the time. I'm sure it's a big story. That story, I don't know. So thank you for watching the uh, this far along. If you've made it, please, you know, click subscribe so you get my next review.